Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at putting a curb on a topography. I mean, that sounds simple, right? Uh, it it actually is, and we're going to make it seem pretty simple. Um, probably not the way you might have thought of, but nonetheless, it's going to work. It's going to be interesting and hopefully useful to you. It's something I can see myself using. So before we get into it, if you would, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Maybe you'll like the video. Maybe you learned something. That's kind of the point. I want to know if you learned or liked the video. You know, that's that's really nice. Okay, getting into it now. I've This is not the first video we've done with this topography. I've, I recommend you check out those first. The previous videos on topography were creating a topography from a CAD file. Yeesh. That's something else. <laughs> and then another one was getting this perfect boundary between like an existing site and then like our new site that we're affecting grades. Okay, so we're at this point. And, you know, we're going to jump around a bit, but we're going to get to the point where, you know, we want to add some curbs. And so just to like delineate where this might be, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a subregion. You know, nothing fantastic. We're going to basically put a road in here, um, just kind of down the middle of this thing. And it, again, it does not matter where it is. So I'll go to massing inside subregion. And I'm going to take this here and let's just start drawing there. And so I'm going to make sure and I offset this, you know, probably 24 feet, 26 feet is fine. Uh, this is going to work for us. And so I'm just going to box this off. Now, obviously, your road is going to look better, be different, and probably not do something as simple as this, uh, but that's fine. So there's our road. It's very simple stuff. Uh, and so what we want to do is maybe we have nice floors, maybe we have, uh, you know, a topography built up a certain level. And so a lot of times what happens is whenever you're working with civil engineers, you'll get like a top and a bottom grade at the curb. So like a top of curb and a bottom of curb elevation. So we want to model in this curb so we can get an idea of what those elevations might be and so we can track those as the project changes, updates occur and things like that. Um, so obviously this is just the curb. This is not the floor. This is nothing else. And it's just so you know, this is not dependent on there being a floor. Uh, so maybe, maybe you have a a depressed place and so in this case uh, um, we'll I'll show you what we could do when it comes to something like this um, but you know just so you know this is not following a floor this is literally only topography it's going to be on the topography and there's nothing else other than the curb and topography so how are we going to do this well <laughs> we're gonna do something a bit different we're going to start with of course a profile that is our curb and so I, I'm gonna make this from scratch Don't, find one if you can things like that um, but I want to make a new family and of course uh, let's go into uh, the profiles and it, it can be a rail it can be whatever but I, I think profile is fine of course regular profile and so once we're in here we just need to draw lines to make our curb and so there's you can make this as detailed as you want and so typically we're going to have a six inch curb of course we'll just come up six inches here come over six inches and i'm just going to start with a box and i'll show you why here in a second so the problem with making the nice rounded cut and all this whatever is that it's let's say harder to get a top of curve elevation at least out here on let's say this is the street side it's gonna be harder to do that because if this is curved how the heck are you going to be able to get where this point actually is it's actually back here well if you wanted to, you can get the bottom of curve down here and then the top of curve up there. That's what we're going to do because I do want to show you the curve and how it, it actually works in a profile. Um, but a lot of times what I've done is I've made a curve just be a six inch square as a profile that's extruded along the curb line. It just makes sense. Now, you can believe me, you can get fancy like I have tried to do in the past and it works. Um, you can, of course, make your gutter and do all this kind of thing, make your whatever. Uh, typically, <laughs> this gutter is going to be below grade or below where your, you know, intended grade is likely to be. So something like this. And so you'll get topography showing up. It's just a mess to try to make it look right. So unfortunately for that reason, I don't bother modeling it in as much as I want to and as much as I'd love to bake it into this profile. It's just more difficult and more of a pain to do that. But again, up to you. If you want to do that, more power to you. I'm, I'm, I, I wish I had the time to deal with that. And maybe you're better at it. So go ahead and do it. Um, so before we're done here, I am going to go ahead and fillet the edge here uh, just so we can uh, get more of a, a curb look that we're used to seeing. And, you know, whatever, four inches, three inches, something like that. Not three and a half at, three and a half inches. There we go. Okay, I, whatever. 
that's not a perfect curve, but you get the idea here. Um, I can also begin to, to curve it down, but, eh, you know, it is what it is at this point. So that's all great, but, you know, that's not quite the look I'm going for. If you, you're familiar with the curve, it actually curves back down this way. So I'm going to come back here, you know, let's say half an inch. And I'm going to come up. Again, I'm going to draw my square there. Let's go ahead and trim this. I know I have an extra line here. Can't have extra lines, so I'm going to get rid of this guy. Um, and so I will make sure I get a nice little swooping action here. Nothing too crazy, but I'll use the fillet tool again to do that. And finally, we have our awesome curb. Obviously, this took me more time to make it look really as pretty as this is because, ugh, gosh. So here's our six-inch curb. There it is. Beautiful. That is exactly what we're looking for. It's six inches. That's it. Again, it does not matter what the profile is, whether you have a gut or not, blah, blah. It does not matter. But I am going to save this because I'm particular about that. Call this curb. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and load this into our project. Of course, there we are. Okay, and with that loaded in, what are we going to do now? Well, okay, let's go back to 3D here. And what we want to do now is actually go to railing. Now, I know this is ridiculous. Um, of course, railing. Um, like what? You know, railings are based on profiles, actually, which is kind of interesting. And something else about railings is that they can follow topography, which is exactly why we're doing this. Fantastic stuff. Um, okay, but before we get into that, uh, you might think, well, you can use a floor. Like, you can use, you know, a slab edge. Well, what is a slab edge? Well, let's step back again and say, well, a wall sweep. What is a wall sweep? Well, it's a sweep that's a profile on a wall, and it just follows the wall around. Well, we could do the same thing with a floor using the slab edge. This profile that we've made as a curve, and I've done this before, you can have a floor running along this edge here, and you can apply that slab edge, or in this case, you know, a curb profile to the floor as a slab edge. And what that does is it places your curb in the right place where a curb is. Uh, that is basically tying it or associating it to the floor. And that's great. If you have a floor, do that. It works just fine. Um, and the nice thing about that, at least, is that it will update based on where the floor moves because it's literally following the edge of the floor like that which is kind of cool now if you're like this situation where we have no floors we don't plan to have floors we only have topography what are we going to do uh, well we can use the railings and once we've done that uh, we we're actually going to just place any railing does not matter let's go ahead and place this here that's fine um, but before we even do that i want to just duplicate this and we're going to call this curb i'm going to keep this very simple we'll call it curb easy there we go and I'll click done, and of course there's our there's our railing in our topography straight, looking like a mess, doing no good for us. And of course that's not what we want. That's not our curve. It's not our profile. Well, let's go in here. What do I want to do? Well, I want to actually get rid of all this junk. I, I don't want any of this. I want none. I want no balusters. I want no posts. I want nothing like that. And so here's our preview. Obviously we see all of this, but let's hit apply. All of that's gone, and we're left with this top rail. Well, <laughs> that's what we want. Of course, that's what we want. Um, and where do we find this top rail? Well, we can see here, use top rail. Okay, we hit apply again. Well, we see we have nothing. Well, that's exactly what we want. Okay, and so we don't want to use a top rail because we don't want our curb to be like above the ground. How silly is that? Well, let's come over here to our rail structure, non-continuous. And let's go ahead and insert a profile. And this is just whatever. We don't need to name this, but please do because it will help. And so here we go. We have height, which is set to zero and offset of zero, and that's probably where we want to start. So let's hit apply. Um, well, we just see a square because we're looking at this default profile, and we don't want that to be the profile. We want to actually use our curb, and look, there it is, curb. And while we're at it, just be smart, and let's add a material to this. It's probably going to be some sort of concrete because it's a curb. Concrete curb, not a lot of other curves I'm used to, at least on the side of a road. <laughs> so concrete here, whatever, this is perfectly fine, cast in place, boom. And so let's go ahead and hit apply again and see what we see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, now that is a curb. Now, also a top rail, we don't want that. And we, we did get rid of that. We get, we get rid of it right there. And so let's hit apply. Oh, only a curb. Can you imagine that? Look at this. Only a curb. Again, so I'm going to hit OK. And where the heck do our railing go? Well, it's probably in, there it is. And so what do we do? Well, obviously it's under the topography. We want to associate this 
to the, to the topography. How do we do that? Well, we simply have to pick a new host. And that new host, of course we select it, is right here. Pick new host. And because it's a railing, we have the option of choosing the topography as a host. I select that and boom. It's hard to tell. It really is in this case, but it follows the topography perfectly. And to show you how ridiculous that is and true that it is, I'm going to have it follow this topography up this ridiculous hill right there. Look at this. Is this not the most absurd yet awesomely effective thing? It's not perfect, but like this topography is not perfect either. This, like we're primarily in here, is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It is following topography like, like at a T, beautifully. <laughs> it looks terrible um, because it's not where it goes. It actually goes right here. This is the road we made. We're going to put curbs on either side of this road. And how am I going to pick these lines? Well, I'm going to be smart about that because I've already drawn this. I've already picked the lines. I've already made it. Let's come in here. Let's go ahead and copy all of this. Great. We don't need this anymore. I've copied it. Just hit the green check mark to be done. We copied the lines. That's all we've done. Now I'm going to come in here to railing. And I'm going to paste this in here. Paste. I would always paste in the same place if I could, but paste from clipboard is fine. And because I'm in the same view, I have the option of placing this a certain dimension off of where it was before. And in this case, I don't want it to be anywhere off of where it was before. I want it in the exact same place. So I'm just going to type zero, as in don't move what I just copied. Boom, there it is, in the exact same place. Now, um, I don't want all of this, and I'm not, I can't do it all at once because it's a rail. I don't want railing everywhere. I'm, it's not a bathtub. So I'll delete all this. We'll just keep these here. I'll hit done, and I don't see it. Well, I don't see it because we need to, again, there it is down here. We need to actually pick a new host, the host being the topography, and there we go. Now, oh my goodness, would you look at that? Look how off it is. Well, let's come in here. Let's select it. Press space bar. Spacebar doesn't do it. We will flip it because that's what spacebar ought to do, but it flips it. Look at that. Awesome. That's so beautiful. Now, <laughs> one final thing I'm I'm noticing is that we don't need a like we don't need a curb here. It's flat. Well, typically what I would do is this isn't like the perfect way of doing it, believe me. This is something you can do that I wouldn't necessarily recommend you do, but um if you're at this point and you realize, oh, I want to do this, and my site is completely set. I don't need to edit topography anymore. This is what we can do. We can come in, and we, we still have, we want to make sure we have this selected again, so we can copy all this again. That's fine. Just copy it all. And I want to actually come into my massing and split the surface. Now, ugh, this is dangerous, so I'm going to split this. I want to split it on the same lines. There we go. Hit a zero again. Boom. So, this is now split. This is a completely separate topography. It's topography one and then topography two. And so I actually want to bring this down six inches. Now, normally what we're doing, um, basically if we want this curve to show up correctly. We'd want to depress this road perpendicularly at like basically every point by six inches, as opposed to bringing all of, all of it down uniformly six inches. It won't look exactly perfect, but it's going to look a little better. So I'm going to show you this. Once I bring this down, we're going to add our our curve back, and we can get more of an idea. So what we're seeing here is it's essentially depressed six inches down from where it was before. And so now whenever I put a curve back in, I bet you can kind of start to see um, the sort of result that we're going to get. And so let's go in here, back to railing. Of course, we've got our curve. I will paste. The main thing here is that you need to make sure you copy this profile before because... Once you delete the subregion, you can't go back and select it because the subregion is gone. You split the topography, and you can't you know, get the boundary edge of the topography. We looked at that in the previous topography video. Um, but besides that, uh, once you have this copied, of course, we're doing the same thing. We're hitting zero, and we're just selecting which lines we want to work with here. In this case, I don't want these, so I'm going to delete these. I'll hit the green check mark. We've got our curve, which is floating down here, and we'll once again pick new host. And we want to pick this host. And of course, we want to flip it. And so we'll come and find the arrows. We can flip it. And would you look at that? This is almost what we want. We want to bring this down six inches because we brought everything down. So we'll bring our ba base offset down by half a foot, six inches. And would you look at that? Now that is some good looking curb. Obviously, it's not perfect. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. And I believe it will be acceptable for what you're doing. 
Uh, honestly, I'm very pleased with this for what this can do. And again, you know, I want to, I probably want to create similar. I want to do the other side. I'm going to paste this in the same place, work with the other side at this point. Don't need any of that. Again, I'll pick my new host. Of course, we want that host to be our topography. And we should look at that. That's looking good. Of course, bring the offset down by half a foot. And look at that. Gosh, I'm pleased with this. It looks very good. And not only does this look good, but we are very easily able to come in here and get our spot elevation from our top of curb. And obviously, this is, you know, let's ooh, come in here and... So there's this here. We can look at that. And then we can come down here and, of course, get fairly close. Obviously, it's not exact, um, but we need to get pretty much right there. And we can see that that is beautiful. We are exactly six inches off because we have a top and a bottom curve of six inches. <laughs> Hello. Like, we did this. We designed the profile to do that. So with all of that said, I mean, that's going to do it. You know, basically, we took a profile, a basic curve profile. It can be anything you want, gutter or not square or not and we made that into a railing <laughs> just using it as that non-continuous railing getting rid of everything else in the railing and we al allowed to host our railings to topography and we get this nice result now this is all kind of blown out the window if you make your entire topography or all your parking lot or everything floors which don't get me wrong there's a great advantage of using floors because of how easily you can select points make new points move them up and down all that and if you do that of course my gosh use the slab edge do what we just did with the same prof profile make a floor or use the floor slab edge and basically put that on the edge of the, <laughs> your actual floor and in that case you get the same look here and whatever but uh, just so you know it all works the same whether you have floors or not. This this is great because I don't have floors. I don't plan on putting floors in. And this shows you that you can do exactly the same thing without floors, but use it as a railing and topography. And, of course, if even if you do have floors, you can do it with this as well because not only can rails be hosted to topography but also floors. So this is kind of universal in that sense. So that will do it for this video. I sure hope you learned something. We covered a weird topic, curbs as rails on topography i don't know all of that if you happen to learn something or just ended up liking the video please demolish that like button really really helps me out a lot and i hope to see you in the next video have a wonderful day thank you very much for watching